Around two years ago, I decided to invest $20 every single day inside the stock market inside a high paying dividend ETF. That ETF was QYLD and it was around a 12% dividend yield. And it's also a monthly paying dividend stock. So I did the eighth wonder of the world. I reinvested those dividends right back into the uh, company and that's called the compound interest effect. It's like starting off with a small snowball at the top of the hill and then when you push it down, by the time we get to the bottom of the hill, it's a massive boulder, right? So that's the same thing I was doing with my dividends. Now, over the last two years, I was able to accumulate around $4,500 in dividends and passive income, making me hundreds of dollars per month in dividends. Now, when I first started off, I was only making around $3 a month, $6 a month, $12, $50, all the way up to around $170 a month. Here are a couple of screenshots and examples of my dividend income. As you guys can see, it started off very small to very, very large, the snowball effect, right? Now, when I first started this, I started to invest $20 every single month, and I made a video about that, and it went viral. I got around 200,000 views from that video alone. I really wanna thank you guys for liking that video and subscribing to the channel. By the way, like and subscribe to this video so you don't miss out on any future crucial information. Now, since then, I posted three more videos explaining how was I so successful from making passive income and dividends around hundreds of dollars every single month in dividends to why I eventually ended up selling it just a couple of weeks ago. And a lot of people was asking why did I end up selling it? And so you guys don't have to go back through my page and watch every and, and search for these videos. I put them all right here in the QYLD movie, a complications of videos from when I first bought QYLD for my first dividend payment all the way up to why I sold QYLD a couple weeks ago. And if you guys stay to the end of this video, if you stay to the end of this video, I have a surprise for you. So go on ahead and pull out your pen, your paper, your notepad, take notes while you're watching this video on how I was able to make passive income from QYLD every single month. And I actually, I'm one of the few people that actually made money from the value of this company going up over time. And I sold at a pretty uh, um, amazing time. So if you wanna be a part of this journey, if you guys want to try out this experiment yourself here are all the videos right here in one long video qyld the movie and then you guys could comment what you're going to do down in the comment section and let me know your plans for the future but once again i have a surprise for you guys at the end of this video so if you make it to the end it's going to be i'm telling you guys it's going to be something amazing so yeah it's going to be something pretty amazing so go ahead pull out your broker's account if you don't already have one i'm gonna leave a link to moo moo and weeble down in the description you sign up deposit 100 dollars, you can get up to 15 free stocks that is one of the easiest way to start your investing journey um, very simple it's commission free they have a lot of tools in there that you can use for free to help you become a better investor that's what i do um in my videos that's how, that's what i use as an investor to grow so yeah guys sit back and relax and enjoy everything that you're going to learn about QYLD, exactly what it do, how they make money, and how I'm planning on making even more money in the future. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. Last year, back in August 2022, I invested $20 every single day inside of the stock market. That's right, no matter if the price was high or if the price was low, at the same time, every day, I invested $20 inside the stock market. That is called dollar cost averaging. And I've been dollar cost averaging inside the stock market for an entire year. Now, I know you guys are wondering, did I make money? Did I lose money? Did it go sideways? Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. Now, you're wondering why my dollar cost averaging inside the stock market? Well, by far, it is the simplest strategy that you guys can do. All you have to do is upload your brokerage with some money, sit back and relax, and let the auto investing do all of the work for you. And statistics have shown that if you invest inside the stock market consistently the same time every day, or at the same time every week, or at the same time every month, dollar cost averaging, you will catch some of the highest of the stocks and you will catch some of the lows of the stock and when you're buying the lows you're buying the dips and that kind of averages out your price to why you're not always buying the peaks because remember when you're dealing with the stock market you always want to buy low and sell high so in this video you guys are going to find out if i made money or lost money over the last 365 days whether this strategy is something that you want to do from yourself well in fact if you guys are somebody that's just starting off inside the stock market and you're wondering how to get started well, I'm going to leave two links down in the description. The first one is to Moomoo. If you sign up with Moomoo, they have commission-free investment. They have the auto reinvestment apps to where you could dollar cost average as well. If you deposit $100, you could get up to 15 free stocks. That's right, 15 free stocks. Um, up to 15 free stocks if you deposit $100 into Moomoo. And I'm also going to leave a link down in the description to Weeble. If you sign up with Weeble, deposit one penny. That's right, any amount of money. If you deposit one penny inside of Weeble, you could get up to 15 free shares as well. 
Um, if you're just getting started, this is by far the easiest way to get started inside the stock market if you do not have a lot of money. Even if you do have a lot of money, uh, nothing beats free. So check out those two links down in the description. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are inside of my portfolio. As you guys can see, I got a couple of auto investments on this account. I got some going into ARKK, QYLD and VLO. By far the safest one on here is VLO that tracks uh, the top 500 companies in America. And the, more, and the most risky one on here is ARKK. And then the very next one that pays the highest dividend that I've been investing $20 into every single day for the last 300 65 days with a little over 365 days but a little over a year guys by a couple of days is qyld which has a very high dividend yield it's a double digit dividend yield which pays me passive income every single month because this is a monthly paying dividend stock now if we click on qyld i'm going to show you guys the benefits of dollar cost averaging inside of the stock market as you guys can see i'm paying 20 dollars every single day and that, that's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so of course saturdays and sundays are off limits and holidays when the stock market is closed it's off limits so it's around a hundred dollars a week inside of this particular stock now as you guys can see i first placed my order on august 8th 2022 at a price of 18 dollars and 48 cents now just imagine if i came up on five thousand dollars hey i want to invest into this um this stock that pays out these high dividends qyld i'm going to invest all five thousand dollars into qyld right now i would have bought those shares at 18 dollars and 48 cents and as you guys can see right now the current price is 17 dollars and 73 cents meaning i would have lost money if i invested everything on august 8th of 2022 but as you guys know i dollar cost average but now as you guys can see my average price right there on, on the left is 16 dollars and 93 cents while the current price is $17.73, meaning I am in profit. Now, how are you saying, how did my average price come to $16.93? That's because on some days I was buying the dips and some days I was buying the highs. So I, as I was buying the lows and the highs, it kind of averaged out my price, brought down my dollar cost average and put me in profit. Now we take a quick look at QYLD. Over the last year, you guys can see, I started investing on August 8th. Um, it doesn't go back, it goes back to August 15th at $18.51 and then it just plumbing it down or like div high dividend stocks do it plumbing it down and a lot of investors would get scared at this point but this is my most risky um etf that i have inside of my portfolio i was prepared for this i wasn't scared of this at all when so when it took a dip down i was buying all of these lows twenty dollars there twenty dollars there so when it went all the way back down here to fifteen dollars and thirty nine cents i was buying these shares at fifteen dollars and thirty nine cents so as i did buy the highs right here i was also buying all of these lows it went up about the high right there 1620 bought the low right there at 1592 so on the swings up and on the swings down i was buying the highs and lows so if we take a look i have 337 shares just in one year my market value on these shares is five thousand nine hundred and eighty nine dollars and my average cost is sixteen dollars and ninety six cents i am up four point five three percent two hundred and fifty nine dollars and seventeen cents so i am up four percent in a year not my best performing stock but uh just imagine i could have been down if i bought five thousand dollars at um on august 8th but now i'm up 4.5 percent from dollar cost averaging over time and that's not even close on how much money i made remember that's 259 260 dollars right there but like i said before right now qild have a dividend of 8.8 percent so we scroll all the way down to my history there you guys can see all of my reincarnate buying every single day the 11th 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 4th, 3, 2, 1. I'm buying these shares of QYLD. Now we take a look at the dividend payments. On my first dividend payment, I got paid out $3.78. I reinvested my dividends from QYLD right back into it, and I continue to buy $20 every single day. So the next month, since this is a monthly paying dividend stock, I got paid out $7. The next month after that, $13, then $17, then $22, then $26. Now that I'm getting $26 a month in dividends from the dividend alone i'm able to buy full shares of qyld so i'm not even spending my own money now qyld is paying me in dividends to buy shares back from their own company so after 26 dollars, i was getting 30 dollars a month 35 dollars a month 41 dollars a month 44 dollars a month 51 dollars a month and now on august 1st of this month just one year later i'm getting 57 dollars a month every single year in dividends from qyld so next month will probably be my first $60 month. And if we do the math on that, um, $60 times 12, I could be bringing in an extra $720 
every single year in dividends just from QYLD from investing $20 a day. It'll be a lot more than that once I reinvest that $720 right back into QYLD to get paid more in dividends from that. So once again, guys, I'm gonna be bringing you guys updates. If you guys don't wanna miss updates on stocks I'm buying or stocks that I'm doing recurring investment on, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button because that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. Now, this is a risky play before you guys just jump in and start buying. I knew that QYLD was on the decline that I would be probably picking up some shares on the low before it starts to pick back up. Now, I would not say if you have $5,000 to go invest into QYLD right now, I invest more into better, um, less risky ETFs like VOO or SPY or QQQ. Those are less risky than a high dividend yield ETF like QYLD. In fact, I'm just doing this for an experiment for you guys on this channel. But if you are, if you are already dollar cost averaging, it's very, if you're not dollar cost averaging right now and you don't have reincurring investment set up, it's very simple. All you have to do is set up your brokerage account. You can use Robinhood, you can use Weeble, link down in the description. You can use Moomoo, link down in the description. Fund your account. Once you fund your account, you set up the auto investment, and then you can just sit back and relax and check on it maybe once a month. Check on it maybe once every quarter. You do not have to check on it every single day. You can if you want to, but the only way that you could do that if you don't wanna check on it every day or every month or every quarter is to invest into good, quality stocks. I don't recommend investing to QYLD. Me personally, I would do VOO, QQQ, SPY, any of those, or maybe a, a great company that you believe in like Apple, because you can invest into individual companies as well, like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Walmart. You can pick any of those and invest a dollar every single day, $5 every single day, $2 every single day, $10 every week. It don't have to be $20 every single day like I'm doing. You can pick whatever money that you want, even a dollar, pick 10 different stocks, a dollar a day into 10 different stocks, that's $10 a day. And you could grow your portfolio that way without having worrying about checking the market, checking the price, checking and do all this. This is the most hands off way that you guys could do as long as you're picking high quality stocks and not just picking any random stock out there that you don't even know about. So make sure that you do your own research. Guys, if you're already doing dollar cost averaging, if you're already reinvesting your dividends, let me know what company you're using down below and how long have you been reinvesting inside of this stock? Do you do it every single day for the last month? Do you do it every single week for the last year? Let me know what company it is how often you invest into it and how long you've been doing it and what is the outcome. I can't wait to see what you guys write down in the comment section because I already know that you guys are, <laughs> you guys been investing a lot longer than me. This is just a year example. Some of you guys have been consistently investing into the stock market for the last 10 years. And I can't wait to see what you guys write down in the comment section to put me on even more game. But if you guys do wanna find out what individual stocks I'm buying um, every single week and my option plays, I do have a link down in the pinned comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon, the Patreon to take you to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post my options in there. I post my what uh, stocks I buy in there. And we also have pro day traders that we have that post their option trades in there every single day. So if you want to be a part of a great community that want to be financially free, just like you, make sure that you click that link down in the pinned comment section, take you to my Patreon, that takes you to my Discord. And we just also added another pro day trader in there. So now we have three pro day traders in there, plus me that post their option trades in there every single day or every single week. Um, we just added Mr. M. He has an 80 percent win rate when it comes to option trading. So if you guys want to check out uh, the newly added professional trader, that link is going to be down in the pinned comment section. But yeah, guys, that's it. Make sure that you check out the links down in the description. Sign up. Do not miss out on free stocks. I promise you guys, you don't want to miss out on free money. And this is some of the best uh, promotion that these companies have been running in quite a while. So if you don't want to miss out on some free stocks, make sure that you click those links down in the comment section. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button because that helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you, dang. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace. For the last 14 months, I've been investing $20 every single day into this high yield dividend stock. Now, not only I'm going to show you guys my results, but in the last video that I showed you, there was a comment that said, "Hey, it sounds good. You're making these dividends and all, but you're not showing us exactly how to set it up." Well, in this video. I'm going to show you guys exactly how the, the results of me investing $20 every single day into a high dividend yield 
stock and i'm going to show you guys how to set it up the reoccurring investment yourself on different brokerages because it's, it's reoccurring investment is pretty simple you set it up once you let it go you do not have to check on it every single day for you guys that don't know what reoccurring investment is basically dollar cost averaging inside of the stock market dollar cost averaging is when you buy a certain stock every single day or every single week or every single month you have a set time and amount on buying the stock no matter what if the price is high if the price is low if you want to invest every monday of the month you can invest every monday of the month that way sometimes you're catching the highs of these stocks and sometimes you're catching the lows of these stocks so eventually over time it will average out over time to where you're buying the highs you're buying the lows and you have your median right there to where you're not too busy taking too much time out of your day trying to time the market just trying to time the market on the highs and trying to time the market on the lows and take out all of the guesswork to where you just go ahead and average yourself out over a couple of years and that's dollar cost averaging and these brokerages set it up so easy to where you can have reincurring investments to where you can dollar cost average at just a click of a button so let's just go ahead and dive into these results how much dividends i'm making per month how much i made last year how much i'm expecting to make next year now i'm going to show you guys exactly how to set it up but before we dive into it this video is brought to you by move move sign up now by clicking the link down in the description if you sign up with that link you can get up to 15 16 free stocks deposit 100 dollars, you can get up to 15 16 free stocks um it's an amazing opportunity to get your investment and journey started also there's going to be a link in the description to weeble you sign up with weeble deposit any amount of money you can deposit one penny if you want to um and I think you can get up to 12 to 15 free stocks on Weeble. With those free stocks inside Weeble, you could keep them inside of your portfolio and decide to use it. Or you could sell off all of those free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money, guys. Both of those links are going to be down in the description. Do not miss out on those amazing opportunities. So even if you do have a Robinhood account already, even if you do have a Moomoo account already, even if you do have a Weeble account already, pick one of those brokers, guys. Do not miss out on those free stocks opportunities. But enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers here we are on qyld as you guys can see i've been investing 20 dollars every single day so my average price on qyld is 16 dollars 96 the current price is 16 dollars 73 um over the lifetime that I have been doing this which is 14 months i've invested total of 400 dollars a month that's twenty dollars a day hundred dollars a week and uh, five thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars over the lifetime that i had this open and i started in on august 8th 2022 and i, I accumulated 343 shares of qyld now we take a look at qyld right here you guys can see that it's, it's not it's not the best stock it is a high dividend yield stock if we take a look at the dividend yield uh, it's not on here but it's around 14 where is it at okay it doesn't show it shows their top 10 holdings but it is around a 14 percent dividend yield which is a it's extremely high now what qyld is a cover call 100 cover call nasdaq etf if you don't know how to do cover calls they do it for you so this is a good beginner etf until you actually learn how to do cover calls yourself once you learn how to do cover calls yourself you do not need this etf inside of your portfolio but for entertainment purposes only i invest 20 dollars every single day for you guys for you guys can learn so go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because i'm literally risking my money on not the best etf but a high dividend yield etf because it's exciting for you guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up button go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine i could bring to you guys more cool videos like this now we take a look at qyld i am down 1.53 percent around 100 dollars but on the grand scheme of things that's nothing because i made a lot more in dividends and i actually reinvest my dividends to help me make more money in the future so we scroll all the way down now let's start at the bottom down here and i'm not gonna show you guys how much i made last month until we get to the top well that won't take too long but as you guys can see i started off making three dollars and 78 cents per month in qyld i reinvested that the next month i made seven dollars and ten cents thirteen dollars seventeen dollars twenty two dollars twenty six thirty thirty five forty one forty four fifty one dollars fifty seven dollars fifty nine dollars and now in the month of september i made sixty three dollars and sixty one cents every single month from dividends so over these last one two three four five fourteen months right over the last 14 months i made a total of 470 ish dollars in some sense right so i made around 470 dollars in the last 14 months in dividends dividends is by far the most passive 
form of income that is i do nothing at all but set up this reincurring investment and i'm making 470 dollars yes i am down 1.53 percent but i made 470 dollars so i am in the profit so if we take my last month of 63 dollars and 31 cents go to the calculator 63 dollars and what 31 cents times 12. if i was to stop reinvesting my dividends and do nothing at all over the next year i will make 759 dollars 72 cents in dividends without reinvesting my dividends by doing nothing at all if i was to stop investing 20 dollars a day if i was to stop reinvesting 20 dollars a day if i was to stop reinvesting my dividends from here on out unless they cut their dividends from here on out i will make 759 dollars every single year i don't know about you guys but that would buy me a nice little hotel room a nice little airbnb for my vacation so i could take these dividends and have a nice little sweet vacation every single year just off of dividends that is the the beauty of the most passive form of income there is dividends now let me show you guys exactly how to set it up thank you to the commenter that brought it up that i need to show you guys so on Robinhood, it's pretty simple guys you want to go to any stock let's just click uh let's type in spy you want to go to any stock so here we on spy you can go to any stock and you want to hit trade buy and then at the top right where it says shares you could go down to reincurring investment right under the conditions orders you click that right there all right so here you go you can set it on monday through friday every single market day you can set it for every week it'll invest every thursday you can set it for every two weeks uh, it'll invest every thursday or you can set it for every month it'll invest every fifth of the month so like i said guys this dollar cost average this reincurring investment is very very simple and let me show you guys how to do it on Weeble. That link is also down in the description. All right, so on the market order, you want to hit continue, and then you're going to type in your dollar amount. You can type in $5. I believe on Robinhood, you can go as little as $1 a day. So it's literally no excuse, guys. There's something that you buy for a dollar a day. You could buy gum every single day. If you buy Starbucks every day, Starbucks is around 3 to $4. You could just change your diet, change your habits, and invest those $3 into starbucks company every single day other than buying starbucks every single day until their dividends pay you enough to where starbucks is paying you to buy their own starbucks you know what i'm saying so you can invest any amount like that and then you just hit continue and put your order through all right so here we are on weeble we're gonna hit um scan let's go to the same one spy you just type in any stock that you want and other than hit trade you want to hit the three dots at the bottom right you hit those three dots at the bottom right and there it goes reincurring investment you click that all right so now you type in the dollar amount that you want to enter you can invest a minimum of five dollars every single day into spy you hit okay or you can invest 25 dollars. you can invest 22 dollars. you can invest any amount that you want but let's just say uh five dollars for now and then after you hit okay you'll put your order through and it's just that simple guys all right so here we are on the compound interest calculator let's look at what it would look like a couple years down the line let's say we started off with a thousand dollars um we invested what was it four hundred dollars a month into qyld and the years of growth let's say for the next 20 years estimated growth rate is the dividend um yield the dividend yields like 4.5 percent and there <laughs> and there it goes guys um we're just investing 20 dollars every single day over the next 20 years you will have invested a total of ninety-seven thousand dollars, and you will be in profit this is without reinvesting your dividends at all this is without the stock going up at all you will be in profit um four hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars and your total balance would be five hundred and seventy six thousand dollars you would be half a million a little bit over half a million there just from setting your dividends once and forgetting it and it would probably be a little bit more than this but it will be more than this if you actually reinvest your dividends and there we go dreamers if you guys want me to continue to update you every single month on um my reinvestment dividend journey um, not only am I doing QYLD, I'm doing SPY, no, I'm doing VOO, I'm doing QQQ, and now I'm doing Apple. So if you guys want to keep up with that, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button that lets me know that you like these videos. And also subscribe because um, when I drop this Apple one, when I drop this QQQ one, when I drop this VOO one, you guys don't want to miss out 
on those amazing videos. So if you don't want to miss out on amazing content like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to go down to the comment section and let me know if you're doing any reincurring investments yourself. Are you dollar cost averaging on any dividends? Are you dollar cost averaging on any stocks that you love right now? Let me know which ones down in the comment section. And who knows, I might do a whole series over one of the comments that you guys suggest down in the comment section because that's why I get my video ideas just like this video idea commented it from um one of the subscribers so i really appreciate you guys more than you can even imagine um do not forget to go down to the description click those links to weeble click those links to moo moo sign up get those free stocks even if you already own one of the others get those free stocks guys do not miss out on free money <laughs> Free money is free money. Who knows? You could probably get one of those big stocks like Apple, Google, Tesla. Who knows? It could be an amazing kickstart to your journey. So don't miss out on amazing opportunities like that. But yeah, if you do want to be a part of a great community, go ahead and join my Patreon. My Patreon is going to be pinned down in the comment section, right? Um, over there in the Patreon, I post every single time I buy a stock, sell a stock, my option trades. And we also have pro day traders in there. Uh, we will have three pro day traders in there now that post their day trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a community of traders and investors that want to be financially free just like you don't forget to click that link down in the um pinned comment section to join the patreon which takes you over to my discord but other than that guys i can't wait to read you guys comment section i can't wait to see what you guys are dollar cost averaging in if you never heard of dollar cost averaging in let me know down in the comment section if you plan on doing it in the future but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace guys i just sold 445 shares of qyld a high paying dividend etf a double digit yield a 12 percent double digit yield dividend paying monthly dividend paying stock I just sold 445 shares. If you guys want to find out why, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any crucial information. In this video, I'm going to show you guys an even better way to make money than just high yield dividend stocks. So enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Welcome back dreamers, I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. That's right guys, just like the intro, I sold 445 shares of QYLD because it's about time. The reason I bought QYLD is to show you guys the power of dividend investing. Uh, I started this channel on dividend investing and now I'm going to show you guys an even smarter way to make money. Now QYLD is a monthly paying dividend stocks. Dividend stocks is by far the easiest form of passive income that is you just basically buy a stock that pays a dividend and you will receive a check in the mail either every single month for monthly paying dividend stocks or every quarter for quarterly paying dividend stocks four times a year now the reason that a lot of dividend investors get caught inside of the dividend trap of seeing a high dividend yield is because they want the fastest return possible the highest return possible in a given year and qyld had a 12 percent dividend yield now you're asking yourself how do q QYLD have a 12% dividend yield. That's because they are a cover called ETF and they do all of the work for you. If you guys do not know how to sell options, you don't know how to sell cover calls, sell cash secure puts, um, QYLD is a company that does it for you and that's how they're able to have such a high dividend yield. But I was buying it to them for entertainment purposes only for videos to make for you guys to show how dividends work. So I'll go ahead and hit that thumbs up <laughs> for dedication because I really could have put my money into something better but let's just go ahead and pull up um my qyld how much i made from qyld and dividends how much i made from qyld overall and why i'm selling it and how we can make even more money by doing something else like 20 percent returns in a single year let's go ahead and pull that up right now guys before i pull up the charts and tell you why i sold qyld in an even better way of making money i want to let you know about mumu right now that we're having a special with the link down in the description if you click that sign up deposit hundred dollars you can receive up to 15 free stocks guys and right now they're having a cash reap so if you just hold cash inside your portfolio you can earn up to 5.1 percent apy um, interest on the cash that's just, just sitting inside of your portfolio so that's an even easier way to make money than dividends actually so guys if you do want to have the opportunity to get 15 free stocks click that link from mumu down in the description also this video is brought to you by weeble i'm gonna leave a link down in the description as well you sign up with them to 
deposit $1 if you want to, one penny if you want to, any amount, and you can receive up to 12 free stocks. With those 12 free stocks, you can keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you can sell those 12 free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on this golden opportunity. But now, let's go ahead and pull up the charts. All right, so here we are on QYLD. It's at $17.03. Um, I was up overall. I was up around $2 overall. Um, if we do look, I did have a recurring buying. I was buying $20 a day, every single day for around the last year, since August 8th, 2020, I invested around $6,680. When I first bought into it, well, I was buying it at $18.48, but with the power of dollar cost averaging, I was able to dollar cost average down all the way to $16.96. So I did make profit because the current price is at $17.03, right? So I am ending this as well in this video, but let's go ahead and scroll down and see how much I made in dividends. If we scroll all the way down from dividends, from the very first month of dividends, I started investing into them $20 a day. I was making $3.78 per month in dividends. And you guys know the power of compound interest. It kept going up. I was reinvesting those dividends in $20 every single day. So I went from $3, $7, $13, $17, $22, $26, $30, $35, $41, $44, $45, $46, $47, $48, $49, $50, $51, $52, $53, $54, $55, $56, $57, $58, $59, $60, $70, $80, $90, $91, $92, $93, $94
And then usually it have all, but let's go ahead. We don't have hundred shares of Tesla yet. So let's just say that you're new to this and you're gonna start off on the put. So after you click put, you wanna scroll down. There you go, Tesla's at $139. And let's say, hey, I wanna buy Tesla. And there we go, Tesla's at $239. And say, hey, I'm comfortable buying Tesla for $230. So you'll click this one right here. And after you click that one right there, as you guys can see, the bid price is $1.13. Now, like I said, it's the option for 100 shares. So you multiply that by 100. And so you'll be receiving a, a a dollar and 13 cents for 100 shares so that's 113 dollars that goes fluctuating now the cool thing about mumu is that you guys can actually see the volume on the right that's 55,000 people buying that option right there um or selling that option right there if you scroll over even more you can see the other options if you're new to this what other people are doing to help you with your your strategy so right there it, it expires in three days you can make 110 dollars by clicking that one so let's click that and then hit trade and like i said guys we're going to hit sell now if tesla's at 240 dollars if tesla stays at 240 dollars we're going to keep that 110 dollars we're going to keep 110 dollars and then we could do the same thing next week now if option now if tesla do pull all the way back to 231 dollars we're still not buying Tesla at $231 because we wasn't comfortable buying Tesla at $231. We was only comfortable buying Tesla at $230. So we're gonna get to keep the same $100, $113, $114, and do it again the following week and we can lower it even down to $220. But if we are assigned Tesla at $230, like we said, we're gonna buy Tesla at $230, keep the $110, and now we can sell covered calls. The first one's called Cash Secure Puts. Now we can sell covered calls on Tesla and make money every single week. That way, make a lot more money if you're keeping the, uh, the money line very close to those. So if you're planning on just flipping it, flopping it, every other week or you could put your your teslas a little bit more out of the money so that you can hold on to your shares or if you really don't want to buy those shares so i don't mind owning tesla i don't mind selling tesla as long as i'm making money and then you'll just sell it right there you hit sell and then you'll just sell it right there but the thing is, if it's teslas at 230 dollars you will have to put up twenty three thousand dollars to make those hundred dollars and then you do that every single week or every single month now let me show you guys if it sounds confusing you could join my patreon the patreon link is going to be down in the pinned comment section there i post my option trades every single week um i also have pro day traders in there that post their um option trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a investing community make sure you check out the patreon and the link down below but yes i post my i specifically post my covered calls and my cash secure puts every single week and you can just follow me if you want to do that now i'm about to just show you exactly how much i made in tesla over the last year with just a, a investment of around $23,000. All right, dreamers, here we are on my option premiums. This is from over the year, all the way from date one of January 13th, all the way to 12, 15. I've been buying um, covered calls. They've got sell calls, sell calls, sell calls, sell puts, sell puts. I've been doing calls and puts on Tesla every single week for about an entire year. And you, I was making $20, 200, $71, $79. This is every single week. And over the course of an entire year, year I made $5,147. Now, if you started off with $24,000 to making over $5,147 in a single year, that is a 20% gain. That is insane. 20% gain while Tesla was pretty much trading sideways the whole year or up had its ups and down. I made a 20% gain, $5,000 in just a single year. Now, if you guys was to do this every single year without any other initial investments, let's just say you started off with $24,000. I used to do this every single year. Let me show you guys the power compound effect. Let's say you started off with $24,000 and you added nothing else. Years of growth over five years. Of course, you with 20% annually every single year. Five years, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. You should have 100% of your portfolio. Of course, there's a go. Now, if you used to do it for 10 years, $148,000. 15 years, $369,000. 20 years, $920,000. Now, let's say you start investing, investing when you're 25. You plan to retire when you're 55. That's 30 years. So if you used to do it for 30 years, you have $5.6 million. Now, of course, this is hypothetical, but it can actually be done 
if you're doing it the right way uh, we're having 20 percent returns on your entire portfolio it's just from selling cover costs just from, just from selling cash secure puts now the reason people are buying qyld is because they don't know how to do it themselves um you can start buying qyld until you learn how to do cash secure puts or cover costs and then once you actually learn it sell qyld and do it yourself and make a lot more than 12 percent a year and make a lot more than 12% a year in dividends when you can be making it in passive income by cash secure puts or covered costs um, and collecting that option premium. And there we go, guys. Let me know down in the description below. Do you actually hold QILD? Do you have any other high paying dividend uh, ETF that continue to fall, but you're holding on to them because they pay such a high dividend? Do you sell covered calls yourself? Do you sell cash secure push yourself? Let me know down below in the uh, comment section. If you don't know anything about that, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't, don't miss out on any future videos where I go over exactly how much I made from all of my stocks selling covered calls and cash secure puts over the entire year. It's a lot more than $5,000. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any crucial information, guys, I'm telling you. But yeah, guys, don't forget to click those links down in the description, sign up with Moomoo, get uh, up to 15, 15 free stocks, sign up with Weeble, get up to 12 free stocks. Those links are down in the description, get started. Even if you already have, a brokerage account it does not hurt to have two it does not hurt to have three especially when they have an offers like and that's it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and we're back guys that's right if you made it to the end of this video the video series ain't ending baby we're right back at it i'm going to start to invest twenty dollars right back into qyld is it my best investment move not by far is not my best investment move. I just showed you guys on the last video the complication of the movie that I can make a lot more money selling options myself. But since these videos doing so well and you guys asked for it, I'm going to show you how uh, it performs in the bear market on, on when QYLD continue to pull back over a couple of years. Will my dividends continue to outpay the pullback? We're going to find out. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm going to do on QYLD investing $20 every single day. We're starting all the way over i'm going to get started in probably a couple days from this video going live i'm going to start to invest 20 dollars every single day so if you want to be a part of this journey with me go ahead uh you can follow my moves if you want to my patreon link is down in the in the pinned comment section don't forget to pick up your free stocks but that's right guys we made it to end this video the surprise is it, it we ain't stopping baby we right back in it and we're going to get this video started um, we're gonna get this video series started so if you made it to this video make sure you hit that like subscribe button share it with a friend um watch it a couple more times if you want to support the channel but yeah that's it i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace